All right, I am back. Lunch was good. Hey, old man. Is there a Junkers Market around here? Oh, it's good to be back. I wouldn't say it's nearby exactly, but there actually is a well, fairly sorry large I was one in the area. So long. It's right at the foot of the cliff. Sweet, let's yeah. get going on. Why are you the one? To a mechanic, a Junkers Market is one huge treasure trove. Why? How did that happen? Why did that happen? That's good. I'll deal with it later. Think of it like a treasure hunt. Doesn't that get you excited? Uh, I guess. Then it's decided. I call first dibs. Hey, no fair. <laughs> Going to Lee Sob? If so, might I trouble you with a request? Here's what I need. I'd be Ooh. obliged if you got me some. Uh, Don't be. What's it? Thank you. I can attracting the a why he or I'll. I'll be awaiting that delivery. Once again. You don't have to stay with me, you know. Odd as it is to say in the middle of the desert, this town's nothing but a sinking ship. After being the mayor for so long, it's only right that I go down with it. But a young lady like you needn't mm. subject yourself to this. Don't talk like that. This isn't the end. Not yet. If we all pull together, I'm sure something can still be done. Sweet 80s, can't you see? There is no we. This town has no one left to pull together. Spino is finished. No. What happens then? What about our tank? Should we lose the town, the garage goes with it. No way. We won't be able to repair the tank. And just to be clear, if it breaks, I'm not walking. What of the children? What about Hugh and... I've arranged for an old friend's son and his wife to look after them. When uh. did you... I apologize for the secrecy. I didn't want you to worry when it came time to leave. True. I never would have left so long as those two were still here. But I bet Hugh and Plika feel the same about you. Yeah. They'd never want to move away from this town if it meant leaving you behind. You don't want to part with them either, do you? No, I do not. But those children still have their futures ahead of them. They deserve better than a town slowly dying of old age. So let me get this straight. The town needs people. That it? Let's bring them in then. From other places. But this is a former rebel base. The government is never going to supply it with food and water. And just look how run down it is. He'd have to be a real oddball to willingly move here. Well, when you put it that way. Hmm. Mayor, did you uh. know that any time travelers pass through Spino... Hugh and Plika always talk up the town to them? I had no idea. But why would they... To attract more people to Spino and make you happy, Mayor. <laughs> Hugh's own words. Oh, my. If the kids haven't given up on this town, then there's no way us adults can give up either. Yeah. Perhaps you have a point. Let's tough it out. Just we'll return Spino to it. Very well. Agreed. <laughs> I can tell you want to help. It's written all over you. I'll be frank, I do. In any huh. capacity I can. <laughs> Maybe I'm in the mood to help too. I mean, we can't lose the tank. So, let's get on it then. Yes, let's. I think I've got everything. Do you need anything?
you later. All right, we got everything. Nothing. Hoping for the poo. Oh, I forgot to ask Tor where the Lisa battleship is. There's no need for that. Just take a look over there. That thing's huge! What is it? It's a battleship. It seems someone's been slacking on his studies. I'll have to report this to King Lucifer. Don't you dare! You tell my father and we're through! <laughs> At least that was sort of fun. was sort of fun. Prince, I can't lend you a hand right now. Thank you! Gotta say, that is one seriously huge battleship. Seeing it up close is even more amazing. It fills your vision. Cool! I bet there's tons of parts lying around. Are there any games? Somehow I doubt it. Battleships tend to be filled with weapons, not toys. <laughs> Boring. Got it. So like, why do we need water to live? That's because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Interesting. Hey, see, what about demons? That depends on the species. Slime's body is nearly 100% water, for instance. Even something as simple as that really hammers home what a diverse bunch <laughs> demons are. Uh, where'd the tank go? It was just right here, wasn't it? Desert. Fee. No 
Corny jokes? What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. Alright, let's see what this guy has to offer. What to do? A little bind, yes. Hmm? I hear mumbling. Anyone there? Be my end, yes. The heck you going on about? Huh? Wait, you're not a wannabe junker. Of course you not. Know it. I'm the fiend prince, Beelzebub. You fiend! <laughs> Shaking in your boots, are you? You're scary, yes. <laughs> but I'll take help from anyone right now, even a fiend. Please save me, yes. He sounds like he's had a rough time of it. How about we hear what he has to say? Could be bad. Uh, I don't like feeling like a last resort, but I'll hear you out. Thank you so much! Start from the beginning, and go at your own speed. Well, as you can see, I I'm hiding from wannabe junkers, all because I've earned their ire. You pissed them off enough wow. to me to go on the run from them? I can't deny it, yes. It's just the way I am, yes. Whenever someone forbids me from doing something, I feel compelled to do just that, yes. Which is exactly what got me on their bad side. What'd you do? When I was in the Royal Army, while on patrol with my unit, we came across a caravan being attacked by wannabe junkers. However, our captain was apparently friends with some of those wannabe junkers. He forbade us to rescue the caravan, yes. The second I heard that... <laughs> I knew I just... I plowed on in with my tank and drove discharged for insubordination. And with wannabe junkers on my tail, I just barely managed to escape. Now I'm hiding away in here, yes. But it won't be long before they find this old shack. And when they do, I just know I'll be... <laughs> Anything forbidden, huh? Hey, don't shout no matter what. I forbid it. Huh? Why would you say <laughs> if you forbid it? <laughs> hey, hear that? The bastards in those. <laughs> it's your fault, Prince. One hundred. <laughs> All right. Since I'm a little bit to blame. Here we go. Sure, but now that I I don't have for real. If he's got nowhere else to go, how about inviting him to Spino? Right, you can just go to Spino. Spino, yes. It's a town looking for new residents. Marvelous. Oh, but ah. would they accept one such as? Well, there's so few inhabitants. It's almost a ghost. I bet they'd be happy to have you. In that case, I I'll give it a. All right.
exactly is a junker? It's what you call people who make a living finding and selling used parts. They tend to be roughnecks, so don't go picking fights. Roughnecks, huh? I wonder how rough. Prince! I hope you're not taking that as a challenge. Oh. If you ever think you might be lost, you should check the map. It's always good to know both our current position and our destination. Yeah, getting lost and having a backtrack would be a pain. I can't lend you a hand right now. Ooh, over there. Uh, at least that was sort of fun. Nice. One down. Probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. Got him. of region are we in? I don't have anything. Here we go. Should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, 
Please, at least try to be sneaky about it. can repair it just need materials ah. okay so ready to tell us it good okay now for some hot Intel on the area Prince, I can't lend you a hand right now. Managed to grow over the years. How deep? Ew, that was rough. Okay, don't do that again. It's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers' abandoned belongings or usable equipment. <laughs> Spoken like a true thief. I can't lend you a hand right now. Why did I even do that? The desert gets awfully oh, chilly. Oh, don't do that. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. I guess it gets cold so fast at night because there's no moisture in the air to retain any of the day's heat. We demons will be just fine. You humans who should worry. True. We seem to be more vulnerable to pretty... Uh... This must be Spino. I'll try my best to be useful to everyone, yes. Uh, all right. Do you need any? Yeah, prepare. Talk to the mayor first, see what we get. Anyone order some gun scrap? Ah, hello. Whoa! There the rest. Right. Do you need it?
See you later. From the army? You must be ah. ripped. No wonder you can travel the dangerous sandland unscathed. Dangerous? <laughs> I thought sandland was one word. I guess you're too strong to... But to us, just traveling across... But with the risk of bandit, we're risking... Mm. It is. Even seasoned peddlers have to be careful. A bit of bad luck. So, I guess... How so? Well, but it... He's always had incredible... But... Um, if you ever see that merchant in trouble, could you maybe thank you? Please, by the uh. thank you for coming. All right, let's get out of here. to keep our bearings passing between the cliffs. It's easy to lose your sense of direction on these windy roads. Hey, old man. Why do you have your eyes closed? <laughs> well, because there's raptors, and I'm... We drove them away already. Huh? Oh, they really are gone. I truly am one lucky son. Wait! Now that... If it's not one thing, it's another for this guy. <laughs> and here I thought... I'd finally get to make my deliveries to Spino. Spino? Wait, are you a peddler? You might be. Indeed, I am. Then hurry before you get attacked again. Aedes is waiting. Oh, you know Aedes? Hmm. Then are you the one who drove that raptor away? You know it, baby. They were snapping at my heels, so I sent them flying. That's all. Even so, it doesn't change the fact that you say here. I don't want. Don't say that. If I hey, I said <laughs> I don't. Well, then. Oh. Give me a break. In one ear and. Ha <laughs> ha. You do the side quest, sometimes you get good stuff. Which I am hoping is thy case. Then I'll do the main quest. Take a look. Welcome. Thank you for coming. All right. So we got that. So we got some Zenny.
this tunnel lead? Looks like it's a road linking Spino and Talbo together. Likely used for mining and distribution. Gotcha! Just making it easier to bring stuff from town to town, huh? So, humans dig these huge... could jump that with a speed speedy bot. Whoop. Yeah, I don't have it. Just saying it. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you Got to victory, it. even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like, the definition of calm. Uh, what do we got? Damn, nothing's going my way. What's up, old man? Oh? Oh, are you... A demon. Yep, I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub. <laughs> My luck must really have run out to cross paths with a demon. Did he just click his tongue at the prince? He must sure not did. know the meaning of fear. Hey, did you not hear what I said? Could you be a little more scared? Huh. So what if you're the Fiend Prince? I'm a hunter. Ooh. And a Genji Dragon's the next target I plan on bagging. A demon child's nothing in comparison. You're hunting Geji dragons? Best drop that dud of a plan now. Even I'm no match for that beast. Ha! <laughs> Don't put you and me in the same basket. <laughs> I've compiled the Geji dragon strategy guide to bring it down. Hmm, sounds interesting. Let me take a look at it. A way to kill the Geji dragon. If one really exists, I'm also interested. No can. The cave I hid it in collapsed. Ugh. You'll have to fetch it yourself if you want to see it. Bring it to me and I'll let you read it. Heck. I guess. Ah, oh, so I would need the speedy bot. Prince, there are a lot of small caves all over Sandland. There may be items inside them that could be of use to us. We? Let's explore any that we find then. Alright, there we go. Why's my aim? Ahoy there, matey. Nice. One 
down. Foe's too tough. You can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing as too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. All right, all right. You're a real handful, you know. Huh. People used to pass through here all the time. Now, the entire area is deserted. The neat roads uh. disappeared under the sand, and only deadly creatures replaced them. Uh, okay. Maybe humans disappearing isn't always a good thing. They'll probably come back when the water does. Tough. You can always run away and live to fight another day. At least that was sort of fun. If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing as too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. Right, all right, fine. Ooh. I think having the V8 is very nice. A bit more speed. right outside of Sandland, isn't it? Can't we get water from there? Just traveling all the way to the sea is no easy task, and we have no good means of trans... Here we go. Okay. According to the map, this area is near the center of Sandland. Wow! So we can reach a bunch of places from here, huh? Not really. The steep cliffs make traveling north or south of here a serious challenge. Pretty inconvenient for a central, but if there's a whole Junkers market right below it, surely the little Junkers have long since stripped it of anything valuable. 
true, the core frame for a jump bot is probably gonna cost us a pretty penny. That wouldn't be good. We'd better hope that's not the case. People used to pass through here all the time. Now, the entire area is deserted. The neat roads disappeared under the sand, and only deadly creatures replaced them. Maybe humans disappearing isn't always a good thing. We'll probably come back when the water does. No matter where you look, there's nothing but sand, sand, sand. I hate it. The water shortage makes it worse than ever. The sandland's always been sandy. That is how it got its name, after all. Maybe they should try changing the name to something better. Dampland has a nice ring to it. special about a junk This cave's crazy deep. Looks like people have been using this place as a scrap dump. So we're dumpster diving now, are we? Did you have to put it like that? Way to kill my motivation! Made it. Pray that no junkers come to dump scrap on us while we're down in that hole. That's one image I'd rather not think about. Here we go. Then we'd better hurry up before it becomes reality. The entire area is deserted. The neat roads disappeared under the sand, and only deadly creatures replaced them. Maybe humans disappearing isn't always a good thing. We'll probably come back when the water does. Here we go. Hit. Hit. 
hope we can find something useful in all this. Here yeah. I'll let you know if I see anything. Some of what the Junkers see as trash could very well be treasure to us. Excited. Here we go. Oh, I'm out of it. Thank God. Adland sure has a lot of different creatures, including some dangerous ones I'd like to avoid. Plenty are harmless, though. Just doing their best to survive in this harsh land like us. Humans may be weak, but they sure are persistent. Prince, I can't lend you a hand right now. Your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. right outside of Fanland, isn't it? Can't we get water from there? Just traveling all the way to the sea is no easy task, and we have no good means of transporting water that far either. Right. Sandland's surrounded by a vast desert and steep cliffs. I think I got everything.
our bearings passing between the cliffs. It's easy to lose your sense of direction on these windy roads. If you get lost, be sure to check the map. Yep. of high purchase too. Beware of attacks from above. I hate campers so much. Alright, where are they? This is one lazy mountain. Indeed. Something tells me we're going to get lost. Yeah, I barely know which way is up either. of region are we in? <laughs> At least that was sort of fun. What kind of region are we in? Well, there should be a few towns, an army base, and an abandoned hideout around here. Soldiers and bandits. Sounds like nothing but trouble. Exactly. Don't let your guard down. We can use this to find out about if we can repair it. Just need materials. Repair. Oh, feels so good. Okay, now for some hot intel on the area. Text the same. Reloads.
Alright, let's get out of here. Fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I sure definitely does. hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. Uh -huh. The road keeps going. Is this a mountain trail? No, no. it's a junction. The path could lead to the least south battleship. It's a fork in the road, basically. This used to be a key transportation route. So it's not being used anymore? No, probably not. Alright. All right. Here's what I still I'm can't do. come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicle. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. I'm on my way. People used to pass through here all the time. Now, the entire area is deserted. The neat roads disappeared under the sand, and only deadly creatures replaced them. Maybe humans disappearing isn't always a good thing. They'll probably come back when the water does. Whoa! It really is huge! Just 50 years ago, this thing was flying through the sky. Now look what's become of such technology. Humans truly are fools. What a shame. I wish I could see it airborne. Oh, ruins! This 
could be the discovery of the century. Considering how conspicuous they are, I highly doubt that. Aren't you a killjoy? But I bet you I'm number one when it comes to finding the treasure inside it. Right, old man? <laughs> At least that was sort of fun. Alright, let's see what we got. How do demons usually spend their day? So myself. Hey, if they See, don't notice. You're evil, right? Yeah, right. Alright, so I can't... I can't do it. to get to discover something that no one's ever seen before. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back. your head in the middle of a fight. How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp? That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms.
ocean's right outside of Sandland, isn't it? Can't we get water from there? Just traveling all the way to the sea is no easy task, and we have no good means of transporting water that far either. Right. Sandland's surrounded by a vast desert and steep cliffs. Dang. Guess we really do need a water source. You could jump higher or something. Isn't this so cool? We're exploring ruins, guys! Now, Prince, do be careful. You never know what might jump out at us. <laughs> Don't worry. Whatever it is, I'll beat it up. Try not to wreck the place and bury me alive. That's how you do it. Much prefer the heat to the go. cold as well. Is tolerating heat well just part of being a demon? Depends on the demon. Slime shriveled up after all. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? Who the hell are you? We don't take kindly to outsiders just wandering in. Why not? We'll be on our way as soon as we get what we came for. Yeah, I've heard that one before. We don't need even more problems. Problems? Ain't none of your business. Now scram! Hey. We're in. Hey, wait! Demon is talking to me. No, no, no. I don't want to die without even getting to go on a date. I would hate that. What the heck are you going on about? So I've been on a few no dates. No one's trying but... to kill you. Say girlfriend at least. But, but my granny told me I'd die if a demon spoke to me. I just cracked my toe and it killed me. Oh, I just I feel like I almost snapped it off. <laughs> Demon. Then why are you still alive? Huh? You're right. That, that is strange. You are a demon. Enough of this nonsense. Give us the jump bot parts already. I, I don't, don't have any. Then tell us who. But, but I, I can't just keep talking to demons. Get to the point. <laughs> if you're scared of my words, you don't want to see what my fists can do. <laughs> the Thor is the one you want to talk to. Four. He's my friend. He, he always has the latest info. Four, huh? Let's go pay. Thank you. I need cut the. Thank you for coming. Wow! Look at all these 
gems! Hey, can I look around a bit? Sure, but don't get lost. Hey, can you do me a huge favor and get me something? Huh? No way. No way, Jose. Please? My boss will kill me if I don't get ten pieces of iron ore. Get it yourself, then. I've tried, I promise. I was mining for it till just now. Then I found a comic someone left behind at the mine. And it was really good. I completely lost Is the comic really that good? You like comics? I'll let you read it if you bring me the ore. Here, take this while you're at it. Hmm. I got a comic. You did you get what I need? Thanks, you're a life. I did your favor. Can I? Oh, yeah, sure. What's the comic? <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. I know, right? <laughs> oh, and here's the thing I promise. Thanks. I can never have too many of these. I'll repay you. Slacking off his this guy got Oh, very pleasure in a hurry. Eh. Okay, doke. Oh, I can Slacking off his This comic's just too good. Got any? If so, wanna trade? Oh, very nice! Thanks! Pleasure doing business. In a hurry? Eh. Okay, doke. Oh, I could still Hey! I can take these guys down. Something I've never laid eyes on. And he's got to die. Are you four? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I'm the one you're supposed Apparently, junkers consider her to be a rarer sight. <laughs> so, uh, mm, what are you looking for? <gasps> Could it be a date, perhaps? Yes. I heard you know where we can find a core frame for a junk bot. Oh, so you're here on business. I mean, sure, I know where to find them, but... After all, parts and info are how we junkers pay the bill. If it's not free, what do you want? Uh, what do you think? Money? Sorry, but our funds are limited. Can't... Uh, maybe that generous young lady there could foot the bill. Ooh. I'm just as broke as the rest of you. There's another way you could pay me. Hey, I'm a sheriff. I won't stand for... What? No, no. I just want to hear her say, please, four. Uh, ahem. Well, Anne, you... That's a pretty fair trade. Fine. Huh. Please, four... <laughs> so uh, we half baked wannabe junkers came around. Uh, they found this and they've been using it to sure finders keepers is something of a way of life among junkers. But there's still a limit, you know? Wannabes have got no shame. Not just a core frame, but a working jump. Whoa. Uh, yep. Can we take the jump bot for ourselves if we clobber them? If you clobber them, then fine, sure. Oh. 
They won't know what hit them. Well, you st <sighs> Yep. I imagine that bouncing schmuck's already... By the way, miss, could you say it for me? Afraid not. That was a limited time offer. Looks like this cave leads straight to the Lee Sub battleship. It seems that the Junkers have cobbled together a convenient route between the market and battleship. Too bad I can't use the tank. What? dumping ground for useless scrap. Maybe there's something in there we can use. As far as I can tell, neatness is an alien concept to junkers. Looks like this cave leads straight to the Lee Sub battleship. It seems that the Junkers have cobbled together a convenient route between the muck. All oh, right. Looks like we can head inside. There is no telling what lies. What lies ahead? Nothing. Death. Despair. I gotta play for a bit more. So than this is the battleship's stuff. interior. Never imagined it looked like this. This is amazing. Come on, let's head further in. The more I play this, the more I get like Mad Max vibes. It if looks anyone... like we've hit it. Dead end. Hold on. This is just rubble. A blast from the main cannon should blow it all away. Nice. Yes. 
that's the way. <laughs> with the jump bot go again we're told they went pretty deep inside and they'll most likely be on the upper levels given the ship's layout up huh got it here we go no good the door won't open this here place is locked up tight let's find another route Whoop. Here we go. Uh, ooh. Collecting everything. here the place is a mess no I've never really Falling finished the, the avatar game. Do that try to watch your footing it's, it's falling apart that's why I told you to watch your wait someone's coming think they have access to such advanced technology. Hmm. Might be a Mecha Defender S. One of the nasty relics of that foolish war. Hey, BLs. Be gentler next time so we can use this stuff later. Come on, that's no fun. I'm straining my neck just looking at the ceiling. Prince, the floor's collapsed. We can't reach the upper levels. Let's try approaching from below then. Alright, surely I can use the tank here. Here we go. Containers are pretty busted. The tank gun should do the trick.
Ghost out here. Pretty sure I could get over that with a high jump. Yeah, if you jump higher. Inside! Destroying the bot should unlock it. Just like it did the last time. Destroy? Say no more! The door is unlocked! No one keeps Biel's prisoner! On we go! We might get locked inside again. Stay alert. Which Whoa! It moved! Whee! This is fun! It stopped. Guess it only goes to this floor. Let's look for others. that thing a plane for lifting containers you think if we shoot the arm we might be able to use the container as a platform <laughs> what the hell? Got 
Here we go. This place is practically falling apart. Let's take it slow and steady. There's still a path along the edges. Let's proceed with care. Oh, that was close.
Fires two shots at once. Hey, let's try Here it. Here we go. is at like you know the Do need water. What's that? That's not just any bot. It's a jump bot. For real? It's unmanned. I say we. Oh no, you don't. I can't pretend I didn't just hear that, pipsqueak. God dang it. <sighs> so close. Didn't your daddy teach you it's wrong to take things that don't belong to you? Uh, no. My dad taught me to take whatever I want for myself. Huh. Strange dad you got. <laughs> but that won't fly around. If you're that desperate, I'll rent it to you for... 10,000 seni an hour. Are you crazy? Who'd be- We're here on a job to deal with that jump bot from a Junker's Market resident. Can't we just work out a- No! If you ain't got the money. What? You not used to seeing girls either? Nah, 
What I'm interested in is your necklace. Bet I could get a damn good price for it. I'll take that as payment. No way. I'll never give this up, no matter what. <laughs> Too bad. Hey. Huh? Whoa. Stand back, Anne. It's my trip. For what? <laughs> Even you're no match for my jump bot, demon boy! Got it. Here. Thank you, Bielz. What did you mean earlier about repaying me? Yeah. I wonder how long it takes for it to just auto scroll. Auto play? Huh? Oh, right. He must mean the time you took a bullet for him back at Nap Space. Oh, you know, Bielz. Stop! Rip <laughs> Not to bring down the mood, but you did a real number on the bot, Bielz. <laughs> hmm. Nah. Really? The core frame is still intact. I can figure out the rest. Awesome! Let's get back to Spino! Let this be a lesson to you, to change your ways. I'd blown my chance at riding a jump bot for a second. Prince, you need to learn to control yourself. Quit nagging me. We got what we came for, right? Uh, 
Alright. Cool. But I was hoping we'd have more time to hunt for parts. The wannabe junkers may be gone, but the defenders are still around. So don't the even defenders. think about coming in here alone. I know, I know. I'd never be that reckless. Probably. And gold. As well, fast travel. What's wrong? Aren't you going in? I am. It's just there's an urgent need. Oh? Prince, we'd best listen too. Okay. Yesterday, a Royal Army tank was hijacked from that base by unknown saboteurs. Hmm? The perpetrators have gone on a rampage with their stolen tank, wow. vital water supplies, and destroying several towns. What? What the? Anyone who has recently sighted a suspicious tank should contact the Royal Army immediately. Any information about the culprit's identities or... Moreover, the king is offering a 30 million zenny reward. <laughs> for the capture of the saboteurs, dead or... What? <laughs> but we didn't... Uh, of course. I mean... Mayor Tor trusts you guys, so... <laughs> Damn it. How could the Royal Army sink so low? They have turned the entire world against us. Unless we find the spring, we'll have to spend the rest of our lives... That's pretty horrible of them to put a... Our only hope is to find that... Let's abandon the tank and fuck... We got luck? Some demon... But... I'll keep looking for the... I'll come too. Let me... If you can't handle... But... What will... Don't be out once the... <laughs> Do you think Anne's fine working on that jump bot all on her own? None of us know what we're doing. We'd only get in her way if we tried to help. We're better off getting some rest for the journey ahead. <laughs> we're going to be aimlessly wandering through the southern desert with an entire army on our tail. Hmm. Don't worry. I lived in the south 30 years ago, so I at least know the general lay of the land there. Ah. Thirty years ago? You mean, back when the Peachy still inhabited the area? That would be about the time the Royal Army wiped them all out, wouldn't it? Yeah, about that time. Such a tragedy. That made my list of the top ten most foolish <laughs> things humanity has ever done. Foolish? But it prevented the Peachy from destroying all of Sandland with their Doomsday Weapon. Really? You actually believe that? The Peachy were really oh. developing a machine that made water. What? Water? No, no, that can't be true. It's true, all right. The brilliant Peachy were trying to create massive quantities of water. Not just for themselves, but to share with everyone. And because the Royal Army's profits would go up in smoke if that happened, they got rid of the Peachy first. The massive explosion that happened when they were attacked was caused by the Aquanium they needed to make their machine work, which the Royal Army gave them knowing what would happen. And the Royal Army used a massive aquarium bomb to wipe out every last one of them. No, but how can this be? The command. 
commander of the tank brigade that attacked them, who ordered the shots that set off the aquanium, <gasps> was me. Uh-huh. The resulting explosion destroyed almost my entire village and everyone in my whole brigade apart from me was killed in an instant the army thinks i died back then too they they made us attack knowing it would cause that explosion Wait. <sighs> if they knew why would they make your tanks attack inside the blast radius Two birds with one bomb. Our brigade never much liked Supreme Commander Zeus' methods. We spoke our minds too much. Oh, <laughs> well, not your fault, huh? <laughs> uh... You had no idea. S sir, you thought you were saving the world, right? Sad. <sighs> A nice crescent moon. But then the Peachy were really developing a machine that made water. Looks like a real feat here. And the Royal Army used a massive Aquanium bomb to wipe out every last one of them. It's actually me! What in the world? I'm absorbing the power of darkness. Cause it looks like we're in for a fight. Huh. Right? Oh yeah. Ooh, ah, that's news hit the spot. All right. I think I'll check on Anne to see how the jump bot's coming along. Oh. What's this? Nice, huh? I picked up a core frame in pretty decent shape at the Leesop Junkers Market. That's funny. It's the same model as my old car. Oh, really? A Junker was selling it. He said that he bought it off a bunch of bandits with diamond face paint. <laughs> Those thieves, they'll do just about anything to turn a profit. You mean this used to be your car? It would seem so. Oh, in that case, you should have it. Are you huh. sure? Don't sweat it. I had fun putting it together. And I owe you guys a ton anyway. You're too kind. Thank you. Oh, man! I sure wish I had my own car! I can make you one, too, if you bring me a frame. Your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> Did you not sleep? Not a wink. I stayed up all night making the car. So you've been slacking on the jump bot to do that instead? It's not like I didn't try, you know. I've never built one, and it's complicated enough that I'll need a blueprint. Are you serious? It's a highly specialized bot, so I'm not surprised. If you're after a blueprint, I think Mayor Tor just might have what you need. Didn't he mention that the rebel army had left some files on jump bots behind? Oh yeah, the mayor'd be the person to ask. I'm impressed. Do you need anything? Yes. Mm. 
What happened to the vehicle? Alright. I shall save this. We actually made some progress, even though we're still on the same jump, but. Probably do some of these. Oh, I'll do it for next time. Thank you all for tuning in. It has been lovely. Thank you all for watching. I do got some things to do. Um, I'll probably play this. No, I'll definitely play this again. Got to finish it. I'll catch you all in the next one, yeah? Peace. Out. See you.